that's symbolic to that. And that's also symbolic for the unk as well, okay? We are the storming point. We are the we are the negation that uh, that we're negation out of creation, okay? Out of negation came creation, okay? So you were the person that filled up that void, okay? That's why at the end of this shit, it says we will win. We already won, okay? Because we're here. You know, we are here today, um, and we are God, okay? God is energy, okay? You're the energy in motion, okay, that got here, all right? That's what that is, all right? So that's the bend, bend point, and that's the phallus, and this is the process of life. Uh, the, the line in the middle of the unk is the process of life, okay? And if you look at... Um, uh, this graph here in the Comedic Tree of Life, which I wanted to show you um, here, of uh, uh, the Matrix of Creation. I'm going to show you this. This is the Matrix of Creation right here. You see that? That's the sun. The sun is the ultimate sustainer of life. And you have the planets that orbit it around the sun. Okay? There's a cra gravitational pull that kind of keeps them, like, not like connected, not like uh, right at the sun, but it's like right there surrounding the sun, okay? Because it's the ultimate sustainer. It's just like the heart being in the body or the lungs being in the body or the brain in the, being in the body. We need those things. Each of those organisms within our body has a role to play in order to sustain us, okay? That's the same way you can think about the sun, Okay, um, the trees are here. Without trees, we don't ha we don't get any type of uh, oxygen, and then we get back to the trees carbon dioxide. Water makes up uh, eighty to ninety percent of the earth, I believe, and water makes up eighty to eighty to seventy percent of your body. So water is essential. Water's in everything, every molecule, every subatomic. Uh, particles, we're all made up of that. We're made up of cells, okay? Every cell after cell after cell, okay? So we are a tool for humanity. We are an organism living within an organism, okay? And the key word to organism is tool. So you have to be the best tool for uh, the earth, okay? You have to be the best tool. You, you figure out how to live your best life by knowledge through self, studying your natal chart, learning about our ancestors, honoring your ancestors, paying homage to your ancestors, practicing uh, libation, you know, and all of that good stuff, okay? Uh, that's how you learn about yourself and become in tune with the earth. This is all a part of the law of divine oneness, Okay, I also want to show you, read something as, as well from the Comedic Tree of Life, as well, that, uh, that'll give you a more uh, deeper understanding of what I'm saying, too. Okay, let me uh, read something here. Uh, we we kind of scrambling for time, guys. Uh, I, I was going to do the old kingdom and the old empire lesson, but I'm going to save that for another time. I'm going to, like I said, I'm just doing this lesson today, the law of divine oneness, because I only got a short amount of time where I'm written out this room. So I want to make sure that I uh, cover this lesson for you guys. Okay. So with the, uh, with the creation, it includes three realms. Okay. These are Ta, which is the earth. Pet, which is heaven, and duat, which is the nether word. Now, let me show you the symbology of all three, okay? So, the symbology to tile, which is the earth, is right here. That's the symbols, okay? The symbology for pet, which is heaven, is right here. You see it? Okay, and then the symbology for the netherworld is right here. These are the symbols. Okay, those are the symbols. Okay, now I'm going to read more into it, okay? So look, uh, Ta is the gross physical plane, 
all right? Pet is the duat of the abad of the uh, gods, goddesses, spirits, and souls. It is the plane of thoughts, the subtle nature devoid of gross physicality. It is the realm where those who are evil or unrighteous are punished. But it's also where the righteous live in happiness, heaven, okay? Remember, suffering and happiness are twins. In other words, the yin and the yang, the masculine and feminine energy, the light and the dark, are complementary to one another. Hell is a state of mind. Hap uh, happiness is a state of mind, uh, which is heaven. That's the state of mind, and too. You live that through the thoughts that you have. To think is to act, okay? So keep that in mind, all right? And then it says... It is the other world, the spirit realm. The duat is known as Aminta, since it is the realm of Amen. Amen is the hidden supreme being, okay? The duat is where the realm where Ra, that's the sun god of Kemet, okay, as is symbol, symbolized by the sun transverses after reaching the western horizon. In other words, the movement of Ra between sunset and sunrise that is at night. Some people thought that the duat was under the earth since they saw Ra transverse downward and around the earth and emerge in the east. However, this interpretation is the understanding of the uninitiated masses. The esoteric wisdom about the duat is that the uh, that is the realm of the unconscious mind and the astral plane. So, pretty much. The unconscious mind is the subconscious. The subconscious controls the, the majority of the conscious mind, okay? Uh, I don't like the term woke or conscious anymore because those terms have become very diluted. Everybody's considered woke nowadays. I don't consider myself woke. I consider myself using my subconscious because a lot of the things that happened to me in my first five years, just like everybody else, whether it be good bad or the ugly, those are the things that mold you because that's embedded into your DNA and your RNA. So in order to offset your destiny, because our destiny is already encoded in us, but in order, if you want to ever offset your, D, uh, your, your destiny, we have the free will. Remember that. We have a free will. And uh, with that being said, you, with your free will, you have the free will to just Go and learn new things, gain some wisdom and understanding, understanding and overstanding in order to uh, offset what is destined to you. If you don't want, if you see something as your destiny and you don't want it to be your destiny, it is your job to intervene into that, okay? You don't have to accept what is destined to you, you know what I'm saying? So, and, and even if you read your astrology, uh, if you read the notable ones, um, it'll tell you that, yeah, if, if they're notable, that this may apply or this may not apply or things may sound contradictory uh, and all of that. It'll tell you that. It won't say, oh, well, this is just set in stone. You know what I'm saying? So it's all up to you. You are the cosmic codex, meaning you are the book of life. OK, every day that you wake up and every day that you do, that's a new chapter to your story, okay, so just remember that, always remember that, okay, and I want to also uh, uh, read one more part, and I'm going to conclude this, because uh, I want to make sure that y'all get the points of that I'm trying to make with this law of divine oneness, okay, so uh, if we represent creation geographically, we could metaphor excuse me, metaphorically uh, use the shape of a sphere containing the worlds and galaxies of creation. We might see that the sphere has points everywhere that are connected to all other points in a mesh, uh, a matrix. So think about when you were in school and you had to do connect the dots. You were doing those connect the dots. That's literally what that is saying. That's saying like the trees, the stars, the sun, all these different things. I'm going to put the dots up here. I'm going to come back to this. But if you just do dot, 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 All these dots, dots, dot, 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 animals, trees, stars, grass, rivers, lakes, 
uh, extraterrestrials, all of that stuff. We're all interconnected because we all have a soul. Okay, we all have a soul. Even the the inanimate objects and um, and objects itself. Okay, uh, inanimate and animate objects. Excuse me. Everything has water in it. Uh, we ha we are made of copper. You know what I'm saying. So uh, all of that stuff. It's, it's, it's uh, connected. We're come, we come from stardust, you know. All of this stuff is connected. So uh, without, uh, uh, without water, like I said before, we wouldn't be here as well. You know, we got we to gotta honor water. You speak life into water. Or you can contaminate water like the people do. You know, they, they, put, they contaminate it. You can contaminate. You can speak life into plants and flowers. Or you can speak death into them. You know what I'm saying? It's it's all according to what your motive and your agenda is when you are here on this earth. Okay? And you know things. You know the feeling of things before you even utter the words out. You, you feel that something is right. You feel that something is wrong before even before you even act on it. You know, that's that's your intuition. That's your gut speaking. You know, a lot of stuff is not just your mind. It's a lot of it is it comes from your heart and your soul too. You know, yes, we gotta think and we have to be uh, treat things with discernment, but we also the mind and the heart go hand in hand. The heart communicates with the mind as well. It sends about forty thousand neuron uh, transmitters to the brain, so the heart can think. It is capable of thinking. Okay, and the mind, of course, you know it can think too, but they must go in hand in hand. It must be a it must be a balance between the two. Okay, I just wanted to say that. Okay, so let me go back to where I was going to say. Therefore, all points are connected, and thus there is no particular center. And we may say that all points are one with the center, or we may say that all points are the center. In this way, the spirit is central to all. It is the container and, con and the connections between all, and therefore it is the center of all. And wherever there uh, is the center, and thus everything and hu every human being in creation is at the center of creation. Okay, that's just like connecting the dots in a nutshell, okay? Uh, you are the Cosmic Codex, and uh, I just wanted to... Uh, Get all of that out, and I wanted to make sure that you guys understood what we were uh, talking about as well. I hope that you gained something from this lesson. I'm um, going to post it on YouTube, share it on Facebook, like, share, and subscribe. This is the People's Enrichment Program, and uh, stay black, stay true, uh, ashe, namaste, uh, and peace and love, peace and prosperity. Um, uh, it's so many wonderful things I want to just shed on you. Uh, namaste. You know, I want to make sure that everybody is uh, in tune with the earth, myself included. Uh, I'm not exempt from this. I'm no better than nobody. I'm just a, a young man trying to constantly seek and grow and, and, and be better. You know what I'm saying? So I salute to all my comrades that's doing all the hard work in the communities. Uh, all the people that's doing, learning more and, and growing as people, that's what we need. You know, we need this so we can uh, do right for our t children, so we may learn uh, and then learn so we may teach, you know, and that's my calling. You know what I'm saying? So I want to make sure that we, I want to end it with uh, something that uh, Amin Hotep said. He said, eat, drink, and be merry. For tomorrow we shall die. So every day that we live and we walk and wake up, we're dying. As we speak right now, I'm dying. But that doesn't make me pessimistic. That keeps me optimistic because it, that, that just shows that I got to get better. We all going to improve. I got to improve. Like That's a part of life. It's always room for improvement. And even with this knowledge and this wisdom and understanding, I still feel like I don't know nothing. You know, it's so much knowledge out here in this world. It's so much unknown unknowns that need to be known. And we know there are things out there that we don't know that are unknown. And we like 
we need to know those things, you know. So that's how my mind operates. Only 5% of the ocean has been explored, you know, and that's the which that equates to like the uh Mount Everest, uh, uh Mount Everest, excuse me. So about 30,000 feet of the ocean has been explored, and that's only 5%. Imagine going deep, 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 deep down in the ocean, more and more and more. You know what I'm saying? So that's something we can't even fathom. You know, it's creatures down there, other things down there that we don't even know about. And the same with the uh, outer space. It's only so far we went out of space as well. That's the same when it comes to this knowledge. You have to keep your mind open like a parachute because that's, that's uh, when it works best. And I'm going to leave it on that. Peace.